On the table, it is super cold. No kidding. I can't even feel my tail. Dude, you have to put on your winter coat during times like these. Good thinking, Landry. I like your style of tail today, too. So here we are on a very cold table of the north, and Untamed has graciously sent the squirrels a very cold box. Inside, we can only imagine saber-toothed tigers and dire wolves. Wait, what was that? That's right, extremely fierce saber-toothed tigers. Hold on a second. And bone-crunching dire wolves. I thought you said this box was full of candy. Oh yeah, there, there might be a couple pieces here and there. But it's mostly saber tooths and dire wolves. <laughs> You're probably the candy. And it's my time to go. Woo! I'll take my chances. So anyhow, let's start opening up this very cold box and see what is inside. Possibly the best decorated box I've ever seen too, by the way. Let's remove this top piece of tape. And see what's over here. Wow, it's like we just unearthed a woolly mammoth. Oh no we didn't, there it is. There's a lot of great packaging elements here. Some ancient mammoth fur probably. And there they are. I see an untamed, ferocious, at your fingertips, silver tooth. I see a canister of possible arctic slime. I see some very lethal icicles, I must be careful. And an untamed, ferocious, at your fingertips, midnight dire wolf. Both of these looking very interesting. Oh, and look, more candy. Hey, why am I just getting word that there's candy here? Ah, I see Big Gray Squirrel is still sporting that fedora. Anyhow, let's clean up the set a little bit. Look at these guys a little closer. Okay, so here we are outside of the box, a little more area to look at some things. Midnight and Silvertooth right in center. Love the box design on these, by the way. Look at the images on the lower left-hand corners. Pretty spooky stuff. On the back of the boxes we have images of each toy prominently displayed on a finger. My name is Midnight and my name is Silvertooth. So they chomp and growl, react to your touch, and are alive with moving heads. A very common theme with fingerlings, but so much more untamed and ferocious. Just look at those two kids. The boy on the left seems interested, whereas the boy on the right looks like he thinks the animal might even bite off his finger. And of course, lots of fine print. So now we have to decide which one to open first. I think I'm gonna have to go with Midnight the Dire Wolf. There's something interesting about that one I wanna see first. Let's open up. Dire Wolf indeed. This might be one of the bestly painted toys I've seen from 2018. Look at this doggy. Not only do we get a very nice silver gray and white wolf, we have some really nice red-orange striping through its back and tail. Deep red eyes with a nice little scar going through it. Black claws and stark white teeth. This one has to be one of my most favorite from Untamed. Okay, let's turn this puppy on. I think there's a switch on the back there. Flip on. <laughs> Oh, these are so alive. So we should be in tamed mode, and in tamed mode, a simple sensor trick is to pet it across the head. Let's give that a try. Usually from the nose to the back of the head, I think. That's supposed to be tamed? It's kind of scary. Okay, that works a little bit better. Uh, tap its nose once or twice or three times for a surprise. Let's just try a one tap. It's so sweet. All right, one of my favorite tricks is the clapping option. So clapping once. 
maybe twice. It says we might even hear a song. I'm not sure if we've heard that yet, though. All right, well, no song yet. Maybe sometime soon. So if we press and hold the sensors on the nose and the back of the head for a funny surprise, let's give that a shot. Hmm. And let's see, press and hold... I love it. Press and hold the back of its head for a roar attack. That's pretty impressive. All right, let's go to untamed mode. To do that, there's several different ways. I think there is flipping it over, there's shaking, there is also um, poking its nose three times. Let's just go with uh, shaking. Actually, let's go with holding upside down. That's more fun. And there we go with it untamed a little bit. Uh, remember the legs and arms are pretty stationary. There's a little bit of give so that you can get your finger inside this guy so you can kind of grab on to your finger. Although I am more into just kind of cradling them in my hand. I think that works a little better. You have a little more control. They're a little cuter too. They look kind of weird just grabbing onto your finger. So there it is, Midnight. I like this one quite a bit. I think even Snake Eyes is here to check him out. Well, now we should move on to Silvertooth. And a Silvertooth, the Sabertooth, opening up. Silvertooth outside, also painted really well. A silvery white gray cat with stripes. Looks like roughed up fur in the backside. And on the front, a couple nice gnarly scars going across her snout. Let's turn on this cat. And Silvertooth is awakened. What do we got for tamed mode? Let's just do a little petting action. I love the row. It's a cat, all right. What do we do for clapping? Let's try clapping. So a few different things going on. How about the uh, back of the head nose sensor trick? Oh, silver tooth. That wasn't nice. How about the back of the head trick? This one seems a little more playful. Like it. So catty. All right, well, let's uh, kind of turn it into a monster. Let's shake her up. Hmm. A little difficulty getting her mad, possibly because it's a cat. They're always mad. Let's see if we can cradle one for a nap. I don't think I've tried that one yet. Oh. Maybe onto its back. That seemed a little different. I think it's snoring, but it's hard. That's always hard. That's always hard to tell with a cat though, right? Two very good looking toys, but guess what? 
So if you remember from my Untamed Dino Bones review, I had picked up a bone saw at the store. I really like the orangish tigerish look of bone saw. And now we can finally get a chance to look at bone saw too. Let's open up. And outside of the pack with bone saw, pretty much a counterpiece to Silvertooth, who I think they're both trying to fall asleep right now. Wake up, guys! Bone saw looking nice and orange. A little bit frosted too, though. Let's turn on. I like Bonesaw's blue eyes, those look good. Looks like they're getting bored, better clap again. Whoop! There's so many fun things. Anyhow, there's plenty of things to do with their sensors. Just keep trying things and who knows what'll happen. These three have been a lot of fun to look at. And they have a lot to say, apparently. They just keep going. They say they're ferocious, but they're actually quite cute. Keep an eye out for these. They are a fun play. Untamed, ferocious at your fingertips, Sabertooth and Direwolf fingerlings appear on store shelves fall 2018. They run approximately $15 a piece. If you enjoy an interactive arctic dog or cat-like toy, these ferocious untamed cats and dogs are quite entertaining. With several options for play, will definitely keep you busy at grandma's house, and definitely great to pack collect. Untamed are quite fun. Just make sure if you are a soft, meaty squirrel, stay at least 50 yards away. That's what I have to say about that. If the dire wolf is allergic to nuts, and Landry ate some nuts before, the dire wolf is in for a surprise. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to play with this arctic slime. Thanks, Untamed. Look at it, so cloudy and cool. Kind of feels cold, too. Oh, whoa. Arctic slime. Oh, it's kind of still in the container shape. Whoa. <laughs>